हेलो गाइस दिस इज अवर नेक्स्ट वीडियो इन दिस सीरीज If you remember, in the last video, we have discussed how we use term work in our day-to-day -day life and the way we use it in a science. We have discussed that if we apply a constant force on an object, an object gets displaced by S in the direction of force. Then, work done by force is equal to the magnitude of force and displacement d. Now, what is the unit of work? As you know, unit force is measured in a newton and displacement is measured in meter. So, unit of work is newton into meter. That is newton meter or joule. In this above example, we have seen that force is acting in the direction of displacement. Now, question is, what will happen if there is no displacement or displacement occur in the opposite direction of force? Now, here comes another topic. Work is classified into a three types: positive work, negative work, and zero work. First, positive work when when the force and displacement are in the same direction. Now, consider a situation: baby is pulling the car. So, force experienced by a car and displacement are in the same direction. So, this is a positive work. Sometimes, force and displacement are not exactly in the same direction. They may angle with each other. If the angle between them is less than 90 degree, then it also count as a positive work. Now, consider another example. Uh, now, I am throwing the ball in upward direction. So, I apply the force in upward direction and displacement also occur in upward direction. So, work done by me is positive. Now, next is negative work. Negative work is defined as when force and displacement are in opposite direction. Consider our above example. When baby is pulling the car, then there is another force which acting in a opposite direction of the displacement of the cars. And which force it is? It is a frictional force. As you know, frictional force is the force which act in the opposite direction of the motion. So, work done by the frictional force is negative. Now again consider our above example. When I throw a ball in upward direction, then work done by me is positive. But work done by the force of gravity is said to be negative because gravity is acting towards the center of the earth and displacement of ball is in a opposite direction. So work done is equal to the force into minus s and work equal to the minus f into s. So we can say that when angle between force and displacement is greater than 90 degree, then work done is also said to be negative. Now zero work. It is the work done when force and displacement are perpendicular to each other, or angle between them is 90 degree. So, for example, whenever you ask porter to carry your luggage, then you have seen that porter lifts the luggage on his head and moves forward. Now, in this case, to keep luggage on his head, he applying force in upward direction and moving forward. So, force and displacement are perpendicular to each other. So, here work done is zero. Now consider a planetary motion. When planet is moving around sun, then because of force of gravitation, earth is attracted towards sun. And when you draw a tangent at particular point, you will see force of gravitation and displacement are perpendicular to each other. Therefore, there is not no work done in planetary motion. Hope you guys enjoying our video. So please like and subscribe our channel. And there is also Facebook page which you can like to get updates on upcoming videos. And you can also get notes of this video on brionotes.com.